collection of your writing, okay? The thing you're gonna have in common with everyone else is your opener. You're also gonna have a life narrative story, all right? You're also gonna have a philosophy, all right? And you're going to have also <coughs> one or two of your, what you feel were your strongest essays from this year. It doesn't matter if it's a NYT, um, the, the, the paper we just had. Then there's gonna be other parts and pieces like some of the poems and stuff that you get to choose which one you wanna put in there, all right? Now the next thing, now listen, we're not any further ahead or further behind than any other classes, Ooh. all right? This is what's going to happen. The other senior, the other senior teachers are, they're going to, they're going to dig out some examples from last year and the year before. Students that had good grades that didn't pick theirs up or didn't want them back. And um, we're going to take a look at them. We're going to take, this, take a look and see some examples of what they did. And. Um, you know, I have a couple from when I did seniors before, from like five or six years ago, but the requirements are a little bit different. Um, a little more of a scrap of the pen. So we are going to, uh, we're going to look at some examples, and let me tell you something else here. Let me show you. Then it says you have a choice of a minimum, and let me tell you, that is a minimum. In fact, I'll put it to you this way. If you give me the minimum, the most you're going to get is a C. I'm just letting you know. Boom. Mediocracy. This is just a sampling of the different type of genres you can write for your narrative. <laughs> now, wait. Let me explain a couple of these. Let me explain a couple of these, all right? Because you're looking at some, you're like, that's ridiculous, or how... How dare we do something like that? Indeed. Um, for instance, <laughs> recipe. All right. Um, I this was I vaguely remember this from a student that turned theirs in. You know, five years ago when I had seniors, they did a recipe for a happy relationship. So they had on there. And I'm just trying to remember, it's something similar like this. Here. Like one cup of sharing. Um, you know, two spoonfuls of, uh, two spoonfuls of love. Um, you know, one dab of understanding. What? Say dab. That's what makes a good relationship. Well, remember, I'm just kind of, I, I mean, I, that's what they're kind of doing. They're not putting a real recipe for food in there unless you're that culinary guy and you, this is your favorite recipe. You know what I'm saying? Heard. So, why are people interrupting me every five minutes? I'm Sorry. just trying to. Um, that is, you know, that would be an example of like a recipe. Now, all right, so someone said like a deed. Okay, well, here, let me think. All right, so if you have a deed, all right, like a deed is when you're transferring a big purchase. Like, you know, you get a deed for a house, a, a, a car, um, this or that. And, well, let's go with the car. Like, you know, Carson was showing me, I couldn't believe he wanted to get rid of his Fiero, right? But that was a big part of him, keeping it nice, keeping it up to date. He worked on it. Look out, all right? He had a lot of great memories, appropriate memories. Um, <laughs> so what he's going to do, he's going to create a deed, of course not a real deed obviously, but I'm going to pass this deed down to my little bro. And, the, and on this deed, instead of listing some of the details of like the house or the car, he'd put like some of the memories with it. You know what I mean? So that's how you got to kind of be, you know, you'd be a little creative with this. You know, some, some of these things are not, they are not, you know, going to fit every person. And some you're going to have to do a little research on. Um, you might have to look up like, you know, like maybe uh, tables like, he's still mad. He's still mad at the bird. 
right? So he's going to write a declaration of war against uh, the Twinsburg, whatever their name, what's their football team? Tigers. The Rockets. Tigers, whatever. Rockets, who cares, right? And the Red Devils. Why? Because football was an important, football was a big thing for him. Playing Twinsburg was a big thing for him. And um, that's what he's going to do. All right? So some of these, I mean, are, are, would work out well, and some aren't, depending upon, you know, depending upon what you're into. And not only that, people have found more. People have found more than just that. So um, those are just some things. So you have to put in into your, you know, in, in, into your narrative four of those things. Now, there the biggest part is going to be the narrative. All right, the narrative. And again, when we remember when we talked like last year about the, you had a persuasive, expository refutation essay. You know that the narrative is the easiest essay because you're telling a story. You're telling your story. Now, the thing that's going to make it a little bit tricky is that with your narrative, you're going to be required to show a few things in there. Like, you're going to have to show imagery. You're going to have to show personification. Um, you're, oh, you're going to have to show repetition of your philosophy. And, and again, we're going to see an example of that. We're going to see an example of that. Not only that, towards before the time you guys, before you guys leave for internship, you're going to have like a full week to work on it. You know, a full week to work on it. So, you know, so you're going to get time and you're going to see some examples for all of this. So I'm just trying to, you know, just, you know, refresh for you what we're doing. Um, now, Two things where I want us to do for today and for tomorrow. I want the po the poem's going to be due tomorrow, and the personification activity is going to be due uh, for Thursday. Tomorrow. So let's take a look at the poem first. All right, the poem. Here we go. A, a simple copy poem. A simple copy poem. All right? Look, I am. The poem's laid out for you. Each line's going to start with I am. I wonder. I hear. I see. I touch. I cry. I am. All right? And it's telling you what to fill in. Two special characteristics something you're actually curious about, an imaginary sound, I don't know, all right? You know, I am athletic and outgoing. I wonder what's going to happen to some of my friends in the future. I hear the sounds of, I don't know, everyone's going to be different, all right? That, that's easy. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to say easy like, you know, it's like, hey, listen, it's not like laying brick or doing some long trick problem. It's creative, enjoy it, right? That's what's due tomorrow, all right? And again, you can include it in your senior narrative or not. The next thing is a personification activity, and I know what you're doing, you already know uh, we know, you know what personification is. All right? Personification is giving something that's not human, human-like qualities. Well, one of your requirements for your narrative is that you have some examples of personification. So with this activity, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that you can think of some great examples to put in your narrative now, so that when you're actually writing it, you can focus more on your story rather than on hammering out some of these um, examples, you know, of, um, you know, similes and metaphors and imagery. You have those all, you have those done. 
right? This is what's due on Thursday. All right? I want you to brainstorm 10 emotions that you have felt over your lifetime. I know what you're thinking right now. You're thinking to yourself, oh, wait a minute. I can only think of happy, sad. Uh, I was surprised once, I think. I was mad once, I think. But listen, just like we saw with art, It's not just red. It could be maroon, brick. It's not just purple. It could be plum, plum, lavender. Right? There are different shades of color. So there's different shades of your emotions. Follow along. I'll tell you right now. Some people on Facebook. Yeah. We need to be destroyed for a good week. Jeez. I'd say we do it. Yeah. I think the rest of the year. Which yeah. poems do you have? I am. Or I am is good. I am. Okay. So that's just that one. Okay. Yeah. Let's do it now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I remember I thought we didn't do it, and then everyone threw a fit. Like, no, we did that earlier in the year. It's like, all right. Oh, we did that. We I thought we did. Yeah. Yeah. I thought we did that. Yeah. So we did it. You might want to double check because they said we did I remember, but they said we didn't do I am. So, yeah. I, so wait, there's an I am poem good I see remember I am do it again. Well, listen, go we'll back. Do we'll go back. If, do we do I was a little confused too at which one we did because they're kind of similar. So just go back. I mean, if we did I am, I mean, then you're done. Okay, if we did the I remember, we're done. All right. I thought we did I remember because that was marked down as a first quarter thing and the I am was marked down as a third we did. quarter. Um, we did. We did where? Yeah. 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 I remember where. Okay. All right. So they doing sound doing a little bit familiar. So we're doing I am. Or similar. So we're doing I am. Yeah, do the I am. I mean, in fact, I think that's easier than the ones you had before. Let's yeah. do it at the end of the period, right? No, no, let's do it tomorrow. End of the period. Or at the end, if you want to get it, I would. Ten minutes. I would. Yep. No, no. Let's, just take, let's take a good five minutes to write it out. All right. Any time. For this assignment right here, you're, I said you're going to pick ten. How do I get ten out of maybe four? Well, look, listen, you're going to think back. Listen, we've all been angry. We've all been mad. All right, we've all been mad or angry. I mean, but think about it. There's different... Sometimes you're mad or, or angry, you're frustrated. Like maybe it's a type of anger where you're frustrated and you had a class that you were really looking forward to and it was so hard, it was such a challenge for you. Frustrating, you know, that's a different kind of mad than the type of mad where you feel betrayed, where one of your boys, Troy, where one of your boys, <laughs> Decided it would be really cool to slash your car's tires. <laughs> oh, 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 funny joke, right? Wrong. <laughs> Illegal. <laughs> Those are two different types of being angry, right? Listen, um, there's different types of surprise, isn't there? I mean, there's the surprise you go, you know, there's the one that's like, full of joy here. You run down, it's Christmas time, hooray! Here we are, here's the bike I wanted, you know? Wrong. I re that, that could be a story, <laughs> that could be a story from when you were younger, you know? And then there's also the kind of surprise where it's more of like, it's shock, you know? Like maybe you got, you wrecked your car and, you know, you made it out without a scratch, but your car is, is a mess, but it's you're terrible. just shocked from the whole event. Thank God everything's okay. We're going we're gonna to get to that, Bella. I'm not going to leave you hanging. All right? Um, so that's what you do. You know, like, a, a, there's anxiety, jealousy. Um, you look at some of these things. You know, sometimes you're, there's different types of fright, too. There's a scary kind where, you know, you're scared about, you know, 
something you have to do, a big project or something. There's some scared, maybe a family member's sick and you're scared about what might happen to them in the future. So these are the, so with that in mind, you should not have any problem finding 10. All right? Because you and especially when you have your whole entire life to look at. Alright? Now, so someone asked, now how does this work with personification? Okay, well here's, let me show you. Let me show you. Let's say I chose for one of my fears, or one of my emotions to fear. All right, let's say I was fearful, way well, I fear nothing, so that's not a good example. How about, oh, I know, I know. Go ahead. I'm gonna tell you about the happiness, how excited I was to hear. Yes, excellent, you know? And I'm, and I'm gonna remember, and I remember the, how the, the, the excitement I might put a line in my story how the excitement of having my first kid slowly was creeping up on me as we got closer and closer. What slowly creeps up on you, a person? Well, well, but murder. here I'm talking about like the joy, like I was happy, but as I got closer to the day, I was getting even more ecstatic and it was slowly creeping up on me as the days, I mean, that's just an example I thought of the top of my head. Um, you know, that there's an example here on this sheet. All right. Um, this cat, he wrote on his, like, he's talking about fear. Like, he, this guy really went, look at this guy. Fear hid around the door, looking cautiously in, and then crept to his seat. He never took his eyes off the others, and his back was always against the wall. Er. sat on the edge of his seat, still holding his books, ready to run at the slightest threat. His eyes dart around and his knee bounces. All right. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. pretty good. Now, listen, that's, you know, I, I wouldn't expect you to have that much, but if you do, that's, that's perfect. All right. So you're going to personify these emotions. You're going to personify these emotions and, and you're going to put them all throughout your life story narrative. Okay? And hopefully you can sneak up a number of these now so that when you're actually typing up the story, you're just worried about the story. Alright? So the directions, just to go back to the directions for this, directions for this all right, you're going to list 10, and all you have to do is real simple, bullet point. All right? You just put, like, you know, jealousy. You know, my friend got into my first choice college. That's it. Right? Um, joy. Baby. I finally got a puppy in the third grade. <laughs> I don't know. All right? But when you list those 10, you're going to pick two of them, and those two you're going to elaborate on. All right? Give me about, you know, a paragraph, five sentences. Tell me a little bit, a little bit about it. All right? Yeah. Uh, this is about the poem. Okay. Um, on it, it says like, you know, at the top it says I am, then two special characteristics. Yeah. And then after like the first stanza it says the I am, then it's like the first line of the poem reinstated, perhaps an extra image. Do you want us to like change the like words like like the uh, oh the I am part the I yeah do you want us to like say like say like I am happy and then on the other one I am like ecstatic or do you want us to keep it like I am happy I am happy just I would you know what I just make it as simple as I could huh? just just keep it exactly like that you know just keep it like I can even show these guys their presentations were done before yours so they're actually <coughs> all done but you know they just kept it the same. You know, um, you know, and maybe I should. Should we show someone's? Yeah. yeah. No. Who's Ryan Markle? 
Yeah, we're starting to. I'm creative and thoughtful. I wonder where I'll be 10 years from now. I hear music all around me. I see starships breaking through the clouds. I want to be sick. Look at that. Wow. That's B plus work. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's an 88% right there. <laughs> Right. Let's see Bailey Adams. No, we're not going to go through everyone. Now, <laughs> what about Abby Jones? Tell us about some things. Just like the templates, we just copy. They are the templates. You got it. Copy so we, these are the ones that we should just copy. You just go to Haley Adler's, hit copy, paste <laughs> it. Yours. Turn it in. Uh, Thanks for making life easy, man. Um, <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, yeah. Okay, so for the quality of the so when we list, like, happy, like, for each of the ten, we give, like, a short, like, Phrase that helps us like yeah, just like a bullet point. Else. What was it that caused that? Okay, and then for the next one, that's where you elaborate, like the paragraph. You're gonna pick two, two out of those three. ten to elaborate on. Okay. You might use all ten of them in your story, but just give two of the best ones right now. You know. Okay. Hey, Mr. B. Yeah. There's, I think. <laughs> for one of them, I put. Do you have like the template? Yeah. <laughs> I understand people. It was just like all sarcastic. <laughs> so that's all you have to do for this? Uh, yeah. I just yeah, so, but each, each, you know, like, when you, start, when you get those 10, you just put a little boy on oh, it, what caused it? Like, new puppy. Or, you know, <laughs> that's what you want. Come to class, or my friend moving, or, you know, like moving to new school, whatever it is. You know, I just put a little bullet point next to the screen, two of them, and elaborate the paragraph. Now, there, the paragraph. Now there oh, you might sound No, just for the two, two out of those ten that you have. That's just so hard, man. One paragraph for two. Yeah, one paragraph for the two they can take out of those ten. And maybe to fill out that paragraph, maybe that's where you want to put a couple lines of personification.
things like I heard like he does like math races, like we do vocab sort of it's like he'll put, put like equations up there and they gotta go up and they you know stuff like that.
Wow.